hello guys today in this video I am going to add parameter in get request as well as in post request so here is the same code which we had already discussed in the last video so from here I will continue so first of all as you know this is a TypeScript file so let me first put here the TypeScript or the type so I am going to put here it as a request and it as a response so you can see now, right now it is throwing me the error but because of I have not uh, like imported the request and response type that's why it is sending me the error as you can see it is showing that property send does not exist on type response okay so what we need to do here just we need to import and here I, I am going to import multiple params so I will copy the request from here and put it here request and response okay and here I will put from from okay and that is going to be the express okay so you can see here now there is no error so now the next task is to add params so first I am going to add the param at its root so you can see here I just added the ID here okay so this is the get type of request so let me run it first I need to build okay so I am going to run npm run build so it will create the JS file and put it in the dist folder okay so you can see now uh, it's created in the dist, dist folder I like got the updated code and now let me run npm start so now it's running okay and I need to go to the postman now so I am here at the postman and here is my URL so let me make it as a get URL because I currently I am going to use the get and I need not to pass any params here okay so let me make it none okay and right now I am not going to pass any parameter I will just go ahead and click on send so you can see it is showing my error because right now uh, there is no like this URL so now I need to add one ID so let me just put here 23 so it will automatically consider it as a ID so 23 is the ID let me go ahead in the code okay and make some change so I am going to modify this send here so let me just make it as an object okay and here I am going to put a message okay this is the same message I am going to use okay so let me first remove this okay and then I am going to put the parameter received okay so that I am going to call it as data and here how I will get the ID here in our code so that's the main thing so how we can go we can get so you can see all the data what we are getting in the REQ okay as a request so I will go ahead and look it into the request or REQ so I will put here REQ dot params not the param okay the params dot ID okay because right here it is ID so like this it will uh, get uh, like get it can get the ID okay so let me again stop it and let me build again okay and run it again so I will again run the npm start here okay now you can see the port is running at port 3000 okay so now let me click on send so you can see we got the data is 23 and here I can also pass a, any string data okay so you can see here I got the string so like this you can pass the parameter in request okay but how, what about the sending multiple params okay so right now make it some meaningful here okay so what I am going to do I will 
put it like this okay and then i will put it here name and then i will put it here name so you can see now i am going to pass the multiple parameter so here make it as id okay and also i need to make it here as a name again i need to get it from params dot name okay so now let me again stop it build it convert the code into js by building it okay and again run the npm start okay now it's running so if i will send it here then you can see it will throw error so now i need to pass it here id but before that i need to add here id and then here i can pass id suppose 20 34 is the id and now here i need to pass the name and after name let me pass my name okay raj so let me save it here okay so now let me match the url so you can see after the base url it is id then id value then name and then value of the name and here you can see id the id value name and name value so let me click on send okay so you can see here i got the uh, the expected parameter data in the response okay so like this you can send any parameters uh, from the url in the get type of api and in the same way you can also send any like data in the params of the get uh, like post ui so here you can see it is running the data and now i will again return here the response so like not the response actually the parameters value so let me again put here params okay so here again i will put one body and inside here i will put id and inside the id it will be again request dot params dot id and in the same way name i will put here request dot params dot name okay and should be the smaller small one okay so now it will let me run this again so that we can check whether we are getting it in the request from the like getting from the request or not okay let me first build it and then let me start it okay now application is running at port 3000 so now i need not to pass it as a git sorry get request make it post and in the post record i must need to pass the body okay so what i will do i will go ahead i will check this to send one body params okay and now i will keep the other like url params as the same so let me hit the send button here so you can see i got the expected result okay in the params i am getting the data and inside the data i am getting the request body okay this is the same result what i am getting here okay so like this you can like uh, send parameters in the node application using the type script so that's all in this video Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel.